Okay, let's be exactly clear on what we're talking about here. I'm talking about opening a file that has password protection on the actual file itself. So an encrypted file that you cannot even open unless you have the password. How much is gonna cost you? Right, the software I'm gonna show you for Excel is $40. There is an alternative uh, software as well. So this one just cracks Excel files and it just uses your core processor. That kind of upgrade, if you like, software is this Office Password Recovery. This one uses your GPU as well. Now that can be very important. They're sort of saying something in the region of 10 times faster if you're using the GPU. Right, let's start cracking some file open passwords. So we'll start off by trying to use the Excel based software. So this is the, uses just your core, G, uh, your core processor, but it's a lot cheaper. So a third of the price, in fact, of the um, kind of more advanced software that's on offer here. Right, to open up this software. Now I'm gonna do my best to do a bit of a, um, decent sort of review here but i'm not going to go through absolutely everything about this software because there's so many different options so the critical things um that i think that you probably want to know is uh what well, does it work well the answer is it depends on the amount of time you've got to spend so in some and how much you know about the password Yes, it works. It's found a few passwords for me. You can see on screen here, it's found um, a couple of the passwords. I'd say, in summary, this one here with the random numbers and letters and you know a percentage sign and things like that, unless you've got some clue about that password, forget it. You'll see why in a minute. Um, you, you, you're going to be, you know, your great, 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 great grandchildren will still be waiting for that to be cracked. Right, let's start with an easy one then, the dictionary attack. Right, in it goes, you can see it's already cracked this one. You can use their attack scenarios, so they've got like various ones here. So this is this one I happen to know from running it many a time. It's got about 185 million passwords it tries to use and it just goes, goes through. So it's um, presumably based on their experience of the kind of passwords people use. When I used that, it failed to find the password up for Excel, but it did find the password dictionary. Now, when I said failed to find the open for oh, up for Excel password, it ran, I ran it overnight for three nights running. Um, and actually, there's one great thing about this software, actually, and that is that um, you can hit this stop button at any time and then the play button and it'll just resume from where you, where you left off or it gives you the option to. So it's kind of handy because although it runs in the background and it's possible to do things like surf the web or something, what it's definitely not possible to do is run spreadsheets. Crikey, I mean, it makes your, your spreadsheets run like a total dog if you've got this one uh, trying to crack passwords in the background, you know, kind of forget it. You want to be pausing it if you want to do any kind of serious work on your computer and run it overnight. So yeah, effectively free, free overnight runs to go through all 185 million passwords that it says it was going to try. Didn't find it at the end of it. So just bear that in mind. It's no, this is not a guarantee that that's going to work. Brute force, right? So just show you quickly brute force. So this one, you can say which types of characters you want to uh, use. So if we go up here, let's just clean up the screen a bit, right? So all lower, all uppercase letters, right? And you can set your password length here. So let's be a bit realistic about this, right? You're not gonna have a one character long password. That's ridiculous. So let's go from four to eight. Now look at that, straight away, just capital letters, 26 years for an eight, a four to eight digit long password. And even if you know it definitely is eight, still doesn't make a lot of difference. 25 years, 200 and roughly 209 billion passwords to check. Um, yeah, you can see what I say, forget it. Add in small characters, 
you're now up to like six and a half thousand years. Add in some numbers, you're now like 27,000 years. Add in your special characters. Look at this, look, craziness, right? Imagine if you go up to 10, say you want to go to 10 um, character long passwords. Can't do it, next big bang. <laughs> A little comedy value in here, right? So how are you going to do this? Well, let's take off the specials. We're still at some sort of ludicrous amount of years. What do we know about it? Um, say you think the word password is somewhere in there. Uh, you could try sort of, um, oh, it starts with it, so it's definitely password. Then it's sort of, uh, I don't know, like maybe try three digit number after the word password. Yeah, that's going to take 15 minutes, right? So not too bad. Yeah, so that's brute force attack. Uh, we then have, push the sort of play button here. Uh, brute force with extended mask. Now this gives you, there's an entire, I'm not going to go through this, but there's an entire programming language where you can sort of set up things to say, you know, whether you want, like, you know, I want an uppercase character followed by, you know, four lowercase characters and symbols and stuff like that, where you can really get quite complex. The programming language, incidentally, is in the help file, so um, you can usage uh, macro language learn, and it tells you what, what these things are. I'm not going to use that, but it's there. Then what? You've also got a dictionary based attack so you hit on next right so this is what we're going to use to find our word dictionary so we're going to check the word as it is but you can have sort of some mutations for example so you know so as it is with their what they call their small english dictionary it's going to take eight seconds right so let's just try that right run it okay ran didn't find the password though right Let's try our dictionary attack again. This time though, medium sized dictionary. This one, one minute, 45 seconds. Right, so let's let that one go and see how we're gonna carry on. Now, one thing that I do notice about this software is it tends to check the passwords in alphabetical order. It's found it already, right? So it's found the password as dictionary. Now, when it finds a password, you can click on it and it copies it to the clipboard for you, which is kind of handy. And then, so we will then kind of, if we go in here, go to our open, so it's this one dictionary, open it up, ask for the password, control V to paste, click OK, and we're in, brilliant, right? So found that one relatively quickly, yeah? So that was pretty good. So what about up for Excel? Right, so I'm going to click in that. Next, right. So I've actually done a previous experiment on this and tried to run this default attack for that password. It didn't find it. Okay, so it took three days overnight, didn't find it. So I know that that is not, not going to work. And I think to be fair to them, probably the reason it doesn't is because their dictionaries probably don't contain the word Excel. I think if that said something like up for sport or something like that, it probably would find it um, because you can see the types of passwords it, it was checking as it was going along. It sort of, as it checks, it sort of shows you sort of like every other password or whatever that it's checking or, you know, one per second that it happens to be looking at. And you can tell, you know, that it would find that. In fact, I did actually think it would find it, but it didn't. So let's show you how to use the mask then. So we've already said, so we know it's got all those three in and we know it's seven characters long, right? So let's, uh, so from what I know about this password, and I mean, I wrote the password, so I damn well know what it is. It still says it's going to take 420 something years to find it, okay? So we're definitely going to need a mask, right? Now, imagine that we somehow we know what the first two characters are um, and we don't know the rest. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, like that. Still saying it's going to take 40 days, right? It's really not good, yeah? So let's, let's replace that with a four. 15 hours, 
That with a capital of A. We're now down to 15 minutes. Actually, we've got an extra character here, haven't we? Yeah, so we're 15 minutes, sorry, there. So you can see as I'm typing it past, right, 14 seconds if I've only got two, two characters missing. Now, the only reason that I think that might be slightly useful is for, you know, I used to have a password system where, you know, these passwords where they sort of say you have to use a different password every single month, like you might have at work or whatever. So if you're kind of rotating the last two digits, you have some kind of rotation system, um, but you just don't happen to know, you know, it could be anywhere from like, you know, zero, zero to 99 or something, or even a three digit one on the end. Um, this will work pretty well and it will it's guaranteed to find that um, because it's just like running through every single thing and also especially if you know that's just a number you can take those two off look and it's going to take three seconds that's just too simple for it that's all lowercase letters actually one minute six seconds great right let's run that see what happens so you can see going you can see it's sort of showing you some random this isn't every single one it's trying but yeah they go up for itself found it Next attack, this really difficult one here, right? So I let's move that over there. Um, this extract data, by the way, I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't seem to do anything different. Now that, you could say, well, let's run a default attack on it. But I happen to know that all default attacks take three days. It's not, <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's worth a try, but it's certainly no guarantee of it finding the password. Um, this is one we know it's not a dictionary. We'd have to use a brute force. Um, we've got to use everything. We're using special characters. Um, you know, we've got no idea what the length is, so we'd have to go like one to maybe let's do, you know, you just can't do it basically. You can't do it. Never going to work. Uh, you need to know for a fact, I would say. That you've only you're only looking for a four-digit password if you if you've got no idea about the password and you think it's got special characters in it. Best you could hope for is a four-digit one, really. The moment you go up to five, it's saying it's going to take a year to find it. And it just so happens this password starts with an A, so it probably wouldn't take a year. It'd take a one you know one twenty-sixth of a year, but that is a long time. That's what two weeks solid. Um, and that's because it starts with an A and I happen to know it runs through an alphabetical order. Links to all this software is in the description. So have a look if you're interested, go in and have a look. See you soon.